Okay, so I'm looking at the Pebble Ashtray by Balvi, Barcelona. So uh, I was using a tobacco tin with a springy lid as an ashtray, but the spring broke and it happened twice. I bought a new one and it broke as well. So I thought I want something else. And it's hard to find an ashtray with a lid. So I came across this. It's kind of in the shape of a pebble and it's got a slidey top which will open up and close. So I thought I'd give this a go. Seems quite big, bigger than I thought. We'll pop this open. Okay. Yeah, it is pretty big. <laughs> this isn't, isn't a bad thing. It's just not what I expected. I thought it would be a little smaller, but that's fine. Yes. Okay, so here it is. Nice and shiny, like a piano black. It is plastic. It is all plastic. You can see my reflection there. Um, but yeah, it looks okay. It looks quite smart. Has a middle section there you can see a screw that is with washer that's holding on the lid which swivels around and around hope that doesn't come unscrewed at any point and we have three white really grippy rubber feet on this thing as well so it will stay I think nice in place yeah it's not going to move when you put it on your desk or whatever it's going to stay in place, so that's good. Uh, like I said, it is quite large. Oops. I have on this opening here a cigarette holder, which is a little bit thin for regular cigarettes, but I think that's the point. I think you're supposed to wedge it in there so it holds it nice and tight, rather than just resting it in there. If you look at the photo on the front there, you see it's kind of squashed into the, into the holder there, so it'll hold it. Rather than rather than balancing it, so that's good. It gives a nice good grip on it. I don't know if you can see inside that there is the central spiral, the central bit that goes up there, goes up in the middle. So it's kind of like a UFO, if you can imagine this being shaped for UFO. Inside there is a central pillar, and that's it. It's really hard to film black. All right, I turn my light on now. You can see it in there. There's like a white powdery stuff. This will come off. Might want to rinse it out with water first, but I don't know why, because it's an ashtray. It's not as if you're going to be eating out of it. So it's like a white powdery stuff that's over on the inside. But you can see, if I can focus, there you go. You see the inside there. Nice big space in there. So you can fit a lot of ash in there. <laughs> you can see it better now in this light. Kind of looks in this light, it looks a bit more metallic and shiny, but it's, it isn't, it is black. Kind of looks like uh, graphite metal, but uh, that's an illusion, it is not like that. My eyes see it black in the camera lens for some reason, it's showing up really metallic. But it is black, 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 black. Um, let me turn the exposure down, perhaps you can see a bit more more like what, what I can see I have my exposure too high so as you see it's black this is quite loose so I don't know if I like that or not we'll see if it's a problem shouldn't think so because it should be sitting on the desk so that should be fine it's actually quite a nice looking thing so that's about it really it's an ashtray and it seems very good quality these rubber legs seem quite grippy so it's not going to move around too much Um, plastic, I'm guessing, can withhold or withstand the heat. If you did drop a cigarette in there, I don't tend to squash my cigarette butts out. I just drop them into an ashtray, so I'm hoping that it's not going to affect this plastic in any way. If it is, I will report back and upgrade, update the, the Amazon review. But if, you, if I haven't, then I can presume everything's going okay. So I'll leave it there. It is what it is. Um, pretty good. Just wanted to show you, uh, let you have a little look at it. So there you go.